have by now discussed about the types of purchasing. Today we will look into the topic storage of materials, how the materials are to be stored and why they are to be stored. After the purchase process has been complete and materials have reached the stores, it is necessary to ensure that they are efficiently stored. The storekeeper should accept the materials only after verifying the material received with consignment note, material received report and inspection report. So in this video, we will discuss about the storage of materials. Materials procured are not immediately processed. There's always a gap, a time gap between purchase and production. During this period, the materials need to be stored. The location and layout of the stores should be, this, should be as such that the time and transportation cost involved in receiving and issuing of materials to the store to the users is at the lowest. The in charge of the store is called the storekeeper or the store manager. The functions of the store's department or the duties or responsibilities of the storekeeper involves to issue purchase requests for purchase of materials, to keep materials in proper places, to maintain up-to-date records of receipt, issue and balance of each items, to minimize the stock holding through proper codification and handling, to avoid the materials becoming surplus, obsolete and scrap, to report on wastage, scrap and obsolete stock, to prevent the entry of unauthorized persons into the stores, and moreover, to protect materials from pilferage, theft, fire, damage, etc. When sales of the organization is increased, the importance of storage of raw materials is increased too. A group of company may have several production department and the location of the production department may be located at several areas. As sales increases, the requirements of raw materials will also be higher. Delay to the supply of the raw materials may seriously disrupt on the production process and may fail to fulfill the requirements of the customer. The organization of the stores department depends upon the size and layout of the factory, factory, nature of the materials stored and the frequency of purchases and issue of materials. There are three ways in which, in which the organization of stores department can be maintained that is centralized stores or decentralized stores that is uh, departmental stores and finally central stores with sub stores also known as impressed system. We will look into the details of all the three ways of organizing the stores department. When the organization receives raw materials in one warehouse or store but supplies the raw materials in to several production centers or departments and divisions is called centralized store. When the management of the company is very strict about the organization of the store that is very strict regarding the material control, they follow the central management system. The advantages of centralized stores include better supervision that could be possible to, oh, because uh, there is only one single location. Moreover, better layout can be made with high technical skills maintained by the store su supervisors with lower cost of insurance required. Whereas the disadvantages uh, are the possibility of t bottleneck in the flow of materials to the production. Due to centralized store, the production may be hampered due to delay material supply with a greater risk of obsolescence. These are some of the advantages and disadvantages of this kind of organization. In case of decentralized stores, a separate store room is maintained at each department uh, which is particularly suitable where the plants are dispersed over wider geographical areas. The advantages of decentralized stores include easy materials controlling and storing functions, internal transportation cost is not at all needed and materials handling can be saved. 
whereas the disadvantages include supervision cost of materials are relatively high more space is required for individual departments moreover the investment to be will be incurred at a higher level with additional staff having a better or higher staff cost and the very chance of misappropriation of stock due to appropriate authority can also be incurred the third or final way of organization of stores department is the impress system or the so called central stores with sub stores this is a compromise between centralized stores and decentralized stores in large factories departments are situated at a distance from the store central store so in order to reduce the transportation and material handling cost sub stores that is in addition to the central stores they are they are at the nearest to the receiving department will be located near the production department for each item of material a quantity will be fixed and it should be kept in the sub store at the beginning of the of any period at the end of the period each sub store will obtain materials from the central store the quantity of material issued to bring the stock up to the predetermined quantity in short this stores operates as per the petty cash system to sum up centralized system minimizes the employees cost and secures the materials but at the same time they have to pay a big amount for transport cost for the centralized inventory system it is a management attitude whether to adopt centralized or decentralized or an impress system for storage of materials i hope this concept is clear please do share your comments for more updates please subscribe and press the bell icon thank you